The NFL is making a big investment in safety. The league will spend $45 million on a project called Heads Up. Jeff Glor sat down with Commissioner Roger Goodell. Jeff, good morning. Charlie, good morning to you. The NFL says one of the most important parts of this program is the focus not just on kids who play football, but on the moms taking them back and forth to practice. And in this case, taking part in practice. At this camp in Georgia, football moms are not in the stands. First group, let's go. They're on the field, hey. running through some of the same drills the pros do. Feet! Honestly, I was one of those moms that thought it'll never happen to my kids. This is why Leanna Duca is here. Two years ago, her older son Tristan suffered a concussion. He was carted off the field. He later stopped playing entirely. But Duca's youngest son, Logan, did not. He loves it. I've not had an injury, knock on wood, somewhere um, with him yet. I never worried until that happened to my older one. Now I'm constantly worried. Over the last two years since my older son's injury is like, why did I let him do it? But now my younger son is so invested in it that I would be sh shaking his world if I made him stop. Football accounts for 30% of concussions in boys between the ages of 15 and 19. Far and away the leading source. Go. The thinking behind these camps is, if moms know what's right, they can make sure their kids do too. There you go. NFL Commissioner Roger Goodell. When you look at some of these moms running these practice drills. They appreciate just being able to be on the field and to, to understand the drills and to participate in it and understand it better. You've been to some of these camps. You, you, you see some of the questions you get from mothers saying, should, should my kid play football? What do you say? Well, that's a personal decision. But we want them to have the right information when they make those decisions. When moms understand it better, they say, yes, we want our kids to participate because we like what's happening. We like the fact that we're brought into the circle so that we can understand better the game and understand what you're doing to make sure when, you, when I leave your, my kid with you as a coach, you're making sure that he's being taken care of. One major focus of the NFL's Heads Up program is teaching kids not to copy some professional players who've been fined for illegal helmet-to-helmet -helmet hits. I think this is a lot of returning to the fundamentals of football. We're getting back to those fundamentals. Uh, the helmet is designed for protection. It is not a weapon. Before, it's, Mom, you don't know. You don't know what you're talking about. Now I feel like I can say, I went to a camp. I do know what I'm talking about, and that's what you need to be doing. The NFL is hoping to bring the Heads Up program to 10,000 youth leagues around the country. Guys. Such a smart idea for the NFL to do. I would like to see the video of their kids watching mom going, oh, God. <laughs> Don't do it. On the field. <laughs> right. Embarrassing me. That's a great idea. Yeah. Jeff Glor, thank you so much. Sure.